Alrighty, it's time to start my fine Chrysler diving board van. Last winter, it wouldn't start because the, uh, I guess there was water in the starter motor from driving in the lake. Like the reverse drop top. Got a battery in it. Hood's not attached. Keeps the rain out. Uh, piece of shit. Anyways, let's see what's going to happen. Got lots of wood hauling ability. Yep, she's a fine, fine automobile. Very useful. Oh no, more bees, please. Okay. First test of uh, spring of 2008, it's April. Oh yes, cranks. Why don't it start? It says it's got gas. Oh, she fired. Start, you bitch. Come on. He used to run. Oh. Give me all the farts. This thing's acting like a piece of shit. Teasing me. I wonder if the fuel lines are leaking. Oh, man. I'm going to check the fuel lines. Oh, they're rusty. What a mess. <laughs> Tied up and rusty and what the fuck. Well, now that she's cranking good, she's not starting, and I've diagnosed the problem as a bad fuel pump. I guess it seized up over the winter time. I'll explain how this works. On these Chryslers, a row of old relays. The last relay is a plastic one. Wire is a positive wire that feeds power to the relay and the green wire with a black line is the wire that goes directly to the fuel pump in the tank. If I jump a little jumper wire from the green one to the positive on the battery, it makes a big spark and that's telling me the fuel pump is seized because it's not running. Like so. Yep, she ain't starting, she's seized. Oh well, got to pull her out with a tractor and pull the tank out and make some kind of redneck gas tank system, as usual. The work never ends out here. Up, up and away. Oh. 
Well, now it's easy to see the problem. Well, now I get to get out that rusty pig.